<laughs> That's it, a bit of gold in the bed. We better go see him. Uh, not like that. <laughs> Why are you just stood on your throne? Avatar, it is you at long last. You just hover there. I sent word seeming ages ago and have awaited your arrival day and night. And now you're here. Welcome back to Britannia, Avatar. Sadly, I fear that I have little to offer you. But what I have is yours. I tell you truly, Avatar, trouble. Very serious trouble is afoot in our land. And we need your help if Britannia is to survive in peace and security. What evil has been unleashed in Britannia? I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> Giant columns have sprung from the ground. My advisors tell me that there is sickness in many areas, poverty in others, and that strife is spreading. I am told that the people have grown discontented with my rule. Yet, I know not what to do. I fear that only you can solve the mystery of this pernicious darkness, Avatar. I know that I have asked much of you over the years, but we need you now more than ever. Will you dedicate yourself to our survival? <laughs> I thought that was good. I fear I must resist this hardship. Farewell. Fuck the lot of you. On my word. Thank of you, course. Avatar. You have truly given this land a hope for survival. I suggest that you first go to the dungeon Despise. It is located just northeast of Britain. It is of easy to it find. Is. Just look for the great column that reaches into the sky. The entrance to Despise is next to the column. Are you in need of more detailed instructions? Or do you think that will suffice? I want more detailed instructions. Yes, I would like some detailed instructions. I just said Very that. Very well, it is easy enough. Simply exit Britain by the east gate and stay on the road until it intersects with another road. At this intersection, turn to the north. This road will take you to the column. As I said, the entrance to Despise is near that column. Thank While you. While I'm thinking about it, I should give you this map. Here, it will help you along in your journeys. Within the dungeon, you will find one of these columns, and with it, perhaps some answers. Of course, you're free to take any supplies that you find here in my castle. In fact, I have had a room upstairs prepared for you should you wish to use it. There is even some money there. Take it and use it to buy supplies or whatever you may need in town. I will do anything that I can to aid you in your quest. May all of the virtues be with you, my son. So, he's given me some cash. He's still... You look like you're having a shit. Um... It's still making me buy my own equipment. To be happy, to greet the Avatar. To greet the Avatar, and welcome him back to Britannia. I'm sorry, who are you again? I'm sorry, who are you again? To be Vasagralum of the Gargoyles. To be honored to meet you, yet to still be very sad think we've met him. over my plight. I'm sorry, but what? I mean, who are the gargoyles? To be slightly hurt by the Avatar. Oh, I'm a six. I wonder if it has been so long that the Avatar does not remember the gargoyle race. 
to remind the Avatar that the Gargoyles are a proud race that have lived in Britannia for many generations. What's wrong, Basagrila? It's you. Many bad You're things a fucking happen, idiot. To have witnessed pride swell in the Gargoyle race. To have argued with other Gargoyles when they separated themselves by building the dome. To have been banished by my own people. To even have had our Codex Lens stolen from us. Why were you banished? How were you banished? To know that my people have lost respect for their traditions since the columns appeared. To have seen my people become consumed with pride and have disagreed with them over the building of a giant dome over Ambrosia. Finally, to have had the people send myself and my servant Desbet into exile and to be greatly saddened by events, but to persevere. Yeah, you persevere. This is terrible news. To agree with you, Avatar, but you hope that things will get better for the Gargoyle people. Do you know who stole the lens? To know nothing of the lens or what happened to it. To only know that it disappeared some time ago. To be unable to read the Codex of Ultimate Wisdom. To know that without the lenses, the Codex appears to be gibberish. To hope that perhaps you can help find the lens. Well, oh really? The Codex of Ultimate Wisdom? To not believe that the Avatar can have forgotten about the Codex of Ultimate Wisdom. To know that the Codex is the holy book of my people and yours. To know that the Codex will answer any question asked of it, provided the lenses are used. I will try to find the lens. To be very grateful to you, Avatar. To have hope that things can now improve for the Gargoyle people. <sighs> really? Who are the Gargoyles? Well, let's see, you've been murdering them since all of them are... One. Demons. Uh, they tried to kill you in Ultima 6. They were in Ultima 7. They were asleep in Serpent Isle. <sighs> Hello, sir. What is your name? Siona. I'm a musician here in Lord British's court. Lord British has always been a music lover. May I ask you for some information? I'll be happy to help, but I'm afraid that unless you have a musical question, I won't be of much help. I take it that you're quite a music lover. Oh, yes. Music is very powerful and can accomplish some unexpected things. Ooh, is that a hint? You've already what is your name? I'm trying Sienna. to ask that. I'm a musician here in Lord British's court. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah. Good power cards. It's good to see that the whole place is um, wheelchair friendly. Creation of potions, flask of water, and reagent on alchemy set. Okay. Make potions, dreams, Maybe important at some point. What are the gargoyles? Who are the gargoyles? I'm not entirely sure. Now you can see where I've been using that clip from. Why it's so ridiculous. This is my room, or Lord British's room. This is Lord British's room. Is that the sandalwood box? It is. Did you bring my box? No. Uh, Yes. Ah, very foggy day in Britain. Now, let's bring a look at 
seen here, so we shall save it. So we ain't going to click on that again. Pretty much the easiest way to solve that problem. So that was Lobbrish's room. So this, considering there's apparently like three rooms in the entire castle. This must be my room. Which will just be full of equipment. Be a bed and store room. That should be it. Apothecary's desk reference. A map of Britain. A bed of some food. Okay, so it's up to the uh, Right, let's put spells in here. As well as maps. Let's see if it gets any of it wrong. Well, many may remember that Lord British was once but one of the eight monarchs back in the lands of North Caesarea. If you're aware that he's not even native of our own lovely Britannia, his origins from another world, one from which he entered ours by way of a red moon gate. In fact, it's through the same type of gate that the Avatar of Legend purportedly enters Britannia. As ruler of one of eight kingdoms, he was instrumental in turn with champions to face mundane Minax and Exodus. When the Temporal Machine Exodus was defeated, it was Lord Bridge, behind whom all the people of Caesarea rallied. The unified land became known as Britannia, with Lord British as the sole monarch. He never let the state rules with a tyrannical hand, his reign has always been one of truth, love, and courage, supported by his utmost belief in the eight virtues. It was Lord British who had the insight to call forth a quest for the Avatar, whom also happened to be a champion from the days of Caesarea, and gave prosperity and happiness unto the people. Then came his mysterious disappearance when the stranger who became the Avatar was called by his companions to aid in the search for the lost monarch. No cow, Lord Blackthorn, affected by the Shed Lords, quickly turned Britannia's fair lands into a place of terror. But find our noble Lord the Avatar did, and Britannia was restored its form of peaceful state. Then came the Gargoyles. Who are the Gargoyles? And our honourable sovereign thoughtfully requested the return of the Avatar. Well, that's not much of a biography, but only goes fucking halfway. Ye lost art of ballooning. Back in the days of the Avatar's quest, rumours spread of a strange sight in the skies. A tinker from the town of Minot claims to have rediscovered the lost art of ballooning. According to ancient lore, this is a mystical practice that allowed one to soar through the air higher than the birds themselves. No records have been found to rituals used upon this feat, but several farmers from the area still tell such strange sights. A strange fear was seen way up in the sky, and the voice of men could be heard. Yeah. I hadn't finished reading about ballooning. Drifting down from it, the apparition drifted in the clouds and lost sight. It took place years ago, and not has been heard of the mystic art of ballooning since that time. Oh God, does that mean the balloon's coming back? And I genuinely can't remember. Alright, he's picturing me up there. Assuming that's not a mirror that's somehow reflecting me from a very long way up. I'm on duty. Well, you said duty. Hello, citizen. Keep moving. There. There's nothing to see here other than, like, the fucking king. Are you 
can talk to me now, Fatto. So you have arrived at last. My name. You should go fight. I've already spoken with Lord British. Then what are you doing here talking to me? Why aren't you out there fixing things? You're the Avatar, you're supposed to be fixing things. Now go on, get busy. Get busy. Now, I think this is what I need to do. So, save this here. Bread. Not Brad. I don't know who Brad is. We're gonna eat your Brad. And replace it with my head. Oh! Hello, have you come for your bread? What are you doing? <laughs> what is he doing? He's off. See ya. I didn't come all this way with some poison bread just to have you trip out. <laughs> yes! It is done. He's dead. Does he drop anything good? No. Apart from some poison bread. Anybody even notice? Oh, hello, Lord British. What's wrong with, What's Lord, wrong British? with Lord British? Well, he's oh, a bit dead. It's been Lord British wants to. Thank you. Farewell. So, we didn't bother doing it in any of the other games, but that is how you kill Lord British. And in fact, I will show you how you can kill Lord British in some of the other games. So. Lord British can be killed in some, but not all of the games in various different ways. The most recent being by bread. Right. To Britain. And beyond. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Now, if you recall, Britain was the town of compassion. Stand firm in our resolve. 
magnificent speech. Magnificent indeed. Wow. Greetings, my good fellow. Uh, I say, you look most familiar. Ah, wait a moment. You are the Avatar, aren't you? Yes, you are the Avatar. I've seen your face on the tapestry. Welcome to Britain, Avatar. I am Aiden, the mayor. Uh, tell me, uh, how do you like our fair town now that we've gotten rid of the poor wretches who used to fill the streets? Hmm, poor wretches? What do you mean? Uh, why, the weak and the sick and the others that were filling up the streets. We had no choice but to get rid of them. Uh, they were choking the life out of the city. Uh, Paws was the perfect place for them. But Britain is the city of compassion. But this is compassionate, Avatar. Uh, the way things were before, the poor and sick were overwhelming the city and bringing down its economy. Under my plan, the poor are removed from the city to nearby Paws, uh, which has allowed our economy to recover. The greater wealth generated by the thriving economy allows us to send food and medicine to help the people in Paws. Believe me, my policy is very compassionate. After all, we must think about the children. What about the children? Does Lord British condone this behavior? Oh, I've heard word from the castle that Lord British doesn't have a high regard for my policy, but he doesn't stay very involved in the governing of the city. Hmm. Very well, Mayor. May I ask for your help? Well, of course, Avatar. What may I help you with? What do you know about the columns? Uh, only that they sprung from the ground some time ago, and that they leave a dreadful amount of scarring behind them. I'm in need of supplies. Where might I go? Well, let's see. We have all kinds of merchants here in Britain. Uh, we have an outfitter, a boyer, a smith, and, uh, well, um, all manner of things. I recommend that you just explore the city a bit. Is that supposed to be it's a, a fine place to stroll, uh, now that the streets have been cleared up. Farewell, Aiden. Go bravely, Avatar, and know that you are always welcome in Britain. So, essentially... The City of Compassion is... They've kind of gone to the extremes of being compassionate as far as they're concerned and they're being compassionate by bundling the poor out of Britain to pause Sounds like the pub. But overhear you talking. Yeah, because you've been so. Do you know anything of the runes of virtue? I've never seen them or anything, but I know they were stolen some years back. Everybody in town ever got them within ten feet of Alina knows that. Who's Alina? Yeah. Who is Alina? She's a curator of the museum. Ask her about the runes, and she'll tell you more than you ever wanted to know. Yeah. And she'll also tell you how the world has become evil and corrupt because the rooms are lost. Well, maybe that's actually right. Does Lord British know about your problems? He stays out of our affairs. The mayor takes care of things. Are you familiar with the mayor? Fine chap. Enlightened man. Full of insights. 
Sending the poor to Paws was his idea. Paws? Aye, Paws is a little village to the west of town. If you're traveling that way... You know that you've been to many times. I hear they're camping out in those parts. I must be on my way. Farewell. See you around, Avatar. Look, I'm busy here, all right? What do you want? And make it quick. I haven't got all day. What is your name, my lady? My name's Dara, and I'm not your lady. <laughs> do you know anything about the Shrine of Compassion? Do I look like Sarah to you? Why are you so unpleasant? Because of annoying people who ask too many questions. <laughs> Can you tell me anything about the columns? I know that they're big. Do you have any other brilliant questions? Goodbye. Well, I ain't gonna buy any of you, huh? I drink anymore, my teeth will be 